Hey everyone, this is Lucy and I'm here in Las Vegas for AWS reInvent. I'll be taking you through each day, sharing my insights, key takeaways and some of the behind the scenes. For those who don't know, AWS reInvent is an annual cloud conference and is the go-to event for anyone who wants to learn about the latest cloud technology, network with professionals and get a first-hand look at the cutting-edge innovations. I actually flew here a couple of days ago to explore Vegas since it's my first time here. I was here with two of my YouTuber friends, Jen and Annie, and we visited places like Fremont Street, Horseshoe Bend and had a lot of good food. So yeah, it was a lot of fun and I really enjoyed my time so far. But today I'm very excited because AWS reInvent has officially kicked off. I'm planning to attend two talks today and spend the rest of my time checking out what reInvent has to offer. So let's head over there now and I'll show you around. Now, Nandini, this is what you wrote your master's thesis on? Yep, I did a wavelet transformation and compression algorithms. I just wish I'd had these illustration skills when I was writing my thesis, <laughs> but yes. There's a time and a place for these kinds of all right, so just came out of a great session called Cloud Operations for Today, Tomorrow and Beyond. We heard from Nandini, VP of Monitoring and Observability at AWS, where she highlighted the importance of cloud ops for today's businesses. We also listened to a few customer stories from JP Morgan and Disney, and it's really cool to hear that AWS will continue to innovate on the future of cloud. They mentioned that they're planning to leverage new technologies like generative AI, machine learning to enhance their cloud monitoring and operations. Oh, and one exciting announcement is that AWS has launched a natural language query generation feature on Amazon CloudWatch. With this, you can easily generate and refine your CloudWatch data by just typing in plain language text. So super exciting and now it's time for lunch, so I'll see you there. Okay, heading back from the event now. Uh, got my AWS community build a swag. It's day two of AWS reInvent. Just heading over now to the venue. Today will be a pretty chill day. Yesterday we had a lot of sessions. We met a lot of people, but today I think we'll just be mainly exploring the area. Um, hopefully still meeting new people, but we'll see where the day takes us. So let's head over now. So we just got some breakfast. We're at the AWS Community Hub and I bumped into Brian. How has your reInvent been so far? Oh, it's been awesome. I mean, of course the learnings and all the feature announcements are really exciting. I think also being able to meet people, especially Lucy. I mean, I followed your YouTube channel for like how many years now? So I love the in-person connections. You, you just can't get that from like the virtual or Slack or LinkedIn. There's something special about bringing a whole global tech community together. Okay, so now I'm going to do an AWS quiz to test my knowledge. Um, let's see, hopefully I don't fail too bad. This was my previous score, but I redeemed myself. Where Darth Vader and I is. Uh, I know you've been to 
doing that for? What's the best part of doing that? For sure, for first timers, it's free play. But for me, as a seasoned uh, attendee, it's the user uh, collaboration and workshops. I think that's all the most important bits. Let's get to the panel so that we can go back to me. Oh, hi, Rishabh. I didn't see you there. <laughs> that was totally not planned. <laughs> How are you finding reinvent day three so far? It's pretty good. Um, I'm a little bit exhausted, to be honest. But all the announcement and launches has what kept me excited. Okay, so I've made my way to the Cloud Ops kiosk. I'm about to meet some new people, and we're going to ask them what their favorite AWS service is. So let's go. I have a question for you. What is your favorite AWS service, and why? Um, it's hard to pick a favorite, but I'm going to say CloudTrail. My favorite service is AWS Config. So my favorite service is Systems Manager. I love all the AWS services, but my favorite AWS service is the AWS Observability Services. OK, now solve this Rubik's Cube for us. <laughs> all right, OK. No pressure, no pressure. No pressure. But, um, oh my god. No, I heard she can pressure. do it in about 20 to 50 seconds. No, no, so no, 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 no. we're going to speed up this audio a little bit and we're going to see how long it's going to take. It's oh already. Sorry, that's not passing. Wow, good job, good job. <laughs> I met the lovely Magnolia. She has given me a pack of spicy Mexican candy to try. Uh, so I'm gonna try it out now. Fresh, fresh, and um, yes. <laughs> All right, so I just had lunch and now I'm at the observability kiosk with Daniela. Daniela, so for those who are not sure what observability is, how would you describe it? Yeah, um, so observability with AWS really, and in, in the context of um, Amazon CloudWatch, it gives you an idea, an understanding of how well your systems are performing, what is happening in the systems, and you do that uh, by collecting telemetry such as metrics, logs, and traces uh, from multiple angles, multiple perspectives. That was a good answer. Thank you so much. So it's day four today and uh, we had a bit of a late start. We're just going to head straight to lunch and then go to a session after. So today pretty much counts as the last day. Tonight there will be something called AWS Replay, which is like a end of re-event party. Looking forward to it. So I just attended the session, what's new with AWS observability and operations. There were quite a few interesting announcements um, and they also did a bit of a demo on some of them. One of my favorite announcements is that Amazon CloudWatch Logs now offers automated pattern analytics and anomaly detection. It notifies users of anomalies using advanced ML algorithms trained using decades of AWS and Amazon operational data. Another announcement is the launch of my applications, a new experience in the AWS management console for you to manage and monitor the cost, health, security posture, and performance of your applications. This means users can more easily track their applications from one view. And not to mention, Amazon CloudWatch application signals helps you unlock the full potential of your applications with automatic instrumentation, simplified workloads, and so on. Builders can now track services end-to-end, -end, from standard application metrics to underlying trace data. Okay, so this brings us to the end of all of the AWS reInvent sessions. We're now going to head over to AWS Replay, which is AWS's end of reInvent party. So let's head over now.
AWS reInvent 2023 was an incredible experience. With over 60,000 attendees, it was a great way to connect with fellow cloud builders and learn from the different sessions. I really enjoyed attending the three cloud ops sessions as it's a great way to start learning about managing cloud operations. For those of you who want to take your first step into cloud ops, make sure you check out the link in the description below to watch the reInvent session, cloud operations for today, tomorrow and beyond. A big thank you to AWS for sponsoring this video and until next time, happy learning and happy building.